law of conservation of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed but one form of energy can be converted into other form for any conservative force the negative potential energy difference is always equal to the work done or this equation can also be written as delta v is equal to minus fx delta x we know from work energy theorem the kinetic energy difference is equal to work done if you add 1 and 2 we will get the change in kinetic energy and the change in potential energy is always equal to zero that means if you take delta ke plus v is equal to zero so it clearly indicates that the ke plus v that is potential energy plus kinetic energy which is also known as mechanical energy is constant and which proves the law of conservation of energy now let us prove it in the case of freely falling body so freely falling body in the sense we take the object at one particular height and then we will allow it to fall and then we will calculate the mechanical energy at three different positions so let's consider an object is under free fall from c this c point is h units away from the ground and the point we take on the ground is a in addition to these two points we have to take one arbitrary point b which is existing in between c and a so this is the point b now this point b is x units away from the ground then automatically we can calculate the distance from c to b is h minus x to prove law of conservation of energy the mechanical energy that is the sum of potential and kinetic energy is same at all the points a b and c so for that we will take first point c and we calculate the potential energy at c and kinetic energy at c the potential energy at c is mgh because the formula for the potential energy is the force times displacement here if the if you consider the mass of the object as m and then its weight itself is the force enough to carry the object to a particular point from the ground therefore force times displacement that is mg times of h will give us the work done and that that work done is only stored in the form of potential energy so potential energy has become mgh but as the object is in our hands it is not at least the speed is zero therefore the kinetic energy whose formula is half mv square as v is zero it becomes zero therefore the net mechanical energy at c is equal to mgh now let us talk about the point a as a is the point on the ground and the ground is taken as a reference point therefore the potential energy becomes zero because the h value will be zero therefore we have to calculate the kinetic energy at a to calculate kinetic energy we have to calculate the velocity so the velocity is equal to root 2 gh how it has come because we know the formula v square is equal to u square plus 2 gh now here as it is freely falling body this is zero then v at a will be equal to under root 2g h now to calculate the kinetic energy we have to make use of v square so that means we have to substitute this 2g h in place of v square then we will get mg h so in that way the potential energy and kinetic energy at a is also mg h only now we have to prove the same result that is the mechanical energy at b also mgh 
let's prove it at b the potential energy because it is situated x units away from the ground therefore it will have potential energy and as it is released from the c therefore it is having certain velocity at v therefore it will have kinetic energy also remember b is an arbitrary point we have not chosen any particular specific point it is an arbitrary point so now potential energy of b can be written as mgx and kinetic energy which is equal to half m v b square now to calculate v b square again we use the same formula v square is equal to u square plus 2g h that formula in that v b square is equal to this u square it becomes zero and here the height that it traveled is h minus x so now we can say that it is equal to 2h 2gh minus 2gx so now with the help of this vb square we can calculate the kinetic energy so now the kinetic energy becomes half m into v square v square is nothing but this therefore we have replaced here when we open the brackets it becomes mgh minus mgx and then mechanical energy that is the sum of potential and kinetic energies is equal to mgx plus kinetic energy mgh minus mgx which is giving us the value mgh again so in that way we could prove that the mechanical energy at a at b and at c is mgh only hence the law of conservation of energy is verified